What's up, y'all? This is Aunt Glizzy and this Bob's Son TV. And today we got Lil Nas from Virginia. He escaped from jail. Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 100K subscribers. I appreciate all my subscribers, all my supporters. Make sure y'all share, comment, like. This story is crazy, y'all. I can't make this up. This is something out of a movie. So it's this guy from VA, little black guy with dreads. I had seen him on Hoods and News and DMV uh, bloggers. They had posted him. They had put him on like a blog page and I had seen him. It was like VA rapper on the run. He was dropping songs like music videos. He was taunting the police and all that. Like he didn't care, he was ruthless. I said, damn, I was like, all this about the state police ground and air search suspended. The escapee still on the run. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm John Burkett. The manhunt for an escaped felon triggered a lockdown at St. Mary's Hospital this morning. My sources tell me 21-year-old Nassim Isaiah Rulak was supposed to be receiving care for seizures on the sixth floor. He slipped custody at 542 a.m. Authorities have been searching since. At this time, we have no reason to believe he's armed. Uh, however, you know, he, he is serving time for malicious wounding. And of course, we ask anyone not to approach him, but if they do see someone fitting his description to please contact police immediately. Tracking dogs and a chopper. Troopers, Henrico police and Department of Corrections officers on the hunt for Nassim Isaiah Rulak. He slipped custody at St. Mary's Hospital Saturday morning, wearing a hospital gown and leg restraints. During the course of our search effort Saturday morning, we have located and retrieved the medical gown and the restraints. Since then, uh, we've been able to actually identify through sightings that have been called in and believe that he's now wearing a gray t-shirt with black shorts and a, a black or dark colored backpack that is slung over his shoulder. Rulak is serving prison time at Greensville Correctional for malicious wounding and several firearm convictions. A young man with an extensive criminal background in the Woodbridge area, according to court records. He has several tattoos to include R.I.P.-ish on his arm, cutthroat on his cheek, and he may go by his alias of Little Nas, facing additional time once he's captured. Uh, state police has obtained a warrant for his arrest for escape of an inmate. And of course, that's, uh, you know, the search efforts are still ongoing. Also ongoing, an internal investigation as to how Rulak was able to get away from two correction officers assigned to his bedside. Two things. Either there's an inside job, in other words, somebody within corrections is helping him, which has happened before in the country. And the other is just somebody flat out not following procedures. You know, both corrections officers walk away, one walks away and another inadvertently falls asleep, something along those lines. It's, it's really the only two options. Miles Turner from Law Enforcement Consulting LLC has been in the business for decades. My sources tell me Rulak was only constrained with flex cuffs because metal shackles aren't allowed to go into the MRI machine. Flex cuffs uh, are essentially giant uh, zip ties. Uh, depending on the method that was, or the product that was being used by DOC, they can be two loops that are connected together, or it can be just one where you cross the wrists and put them on. But they're not meant for anything long term. Sources tell me dogs stopped tracking at Grove Avenue in Commonwealth in the near West End. An elderly man's home was broken into, according to my sources, on Wyth near the hospital. The man didn't know the break-in happened. His car keys, credit cards, and wallet, along with cash, were taken. Clothes also, even though he had keys, the car was not stolen. Virginia, y'all, he turned up. I'm glad I wasn't talking about him. Yeah, he might could have saved y'all. I ain't lying. I would have hung with him. Nah, I would have hung with him out in the run. Like, why he on gangster time? I'm talking about before all the alleged, alleged allegations and all that. I ain't into the gangster stuff. I'm talking about like music time, but it's like, it's still a sad story. So, long story short, he went to jail for like malicious wounding and like a lot of stuff. I don't know. He got ended up getting 13 years. He got 13 years. So, when he got 13 years, I guess they sent him to a mental hospital. He was in a mental hospital, so he put together a plan in the mental hospital. He wasn't really mental, that much mental. He escaped. So he ended up escaping, and he went on a run. I don't know how long he was on a run. He was on a run for months. He had some months on the run. I seen blogs posting. I'm like, why is blogs posting VA on the run and showing his pictures? Like, they trying to, I don't know. I ain't say harbors or fugitive. I don't really get it. I ain't in the streets. I understand his blog, and I get it. I be doing the rock stuff, too. You get it. So he on the run, he all over the blogs. I really ain't reporting or say nothing about it because I was just waiting to see how I play out. 
I don't want to report on nobody while they're acting fugitive. I got a million people watching this channel. I just made a million. I'm like, hey, boy, you the, ain't you the nigga that run from Bob's on the TV? I ain't got time for that. So he on the run. He finessing. He moving around. He got. A, he was getting away. He shot a music video, y'all. He was flashing money. He was telling the police. It was like some TK. He got that from TK. Like it was a strip straight out of TK handbook. He was telling the police. Police looking for him. Can't find him. So allegedly, he riding around with the ARP on him. Like he real loud. Like he might really be a mental patient out of y'all. Cause to do something like this, you gotta be something. Some screws loose. You ain't got all your screws. I'd have never did this. I've did my 13 years. I'm not breaking out of jail. Like 13 years breaking out of jail, that's 26 when you go back. I ain't doing that. I'm going 13, I'm 12 in, and keep going. You feel me? But I ain't going to jail. That's why I just got out of the streets. Before I go to jail, y'all, I get out the streets. I'm completely out of the streets, and it feels so good. I am blessed. I don't got to wake up, see a hood, go through a hood, feel the hood vibes, talk about it, nothing. I just want to be a YouTuber, get y'all content, help my family, and elevate. It's time I turn up. All 2024, y'all, I'm about to turn up. So he on the run. Police looking for him. They can't find him. He dropping rap videos. Once he started dropping rap videos, I said to myself, they're going to find him. They're going to track him down somehow. So he was standing in some motel. It's a motel in Virginia. This is the crazy part, though. He was connected to, like, some money. He got caught with, like, fitting all on him. He had a bankroll. Like, he had when he got his life together. He had a rack of drugs. Like, he went and got some drugs, some paper, some cash. He was on the run. He wasn't, like, broke on the run. So I don't know why he I know why he ain't make it far, though. He ain't had an identity to make it far. Like, his name and face probably hot. But he was standing in a the motel. They found him, like, in the same, like, not too far, probably the city he grew up in, he was in Virginia. He got caught in Virginia. He was on the run to Virginia. It happened in Virginia. He from Virginia. You feel me? It's too much Virginia. Like, damn. So they end up catching him. He in the hotel. As he's staying in the hotel, the police get a tip that the fugitive's staying in there. So they get a tip that he's staying in there. So they pull up. They surround the whole hotel. But they don't surround the back part of the hotel because it's like they got a tip that he was on like the third or the fifth floor. He was up, he was somewhere that he can't jump. He ain't jumping on no windows. He caught, he gotta go out this front door, he caught. <laughs> you got it ain't over to his old with him. Allegedly he got an ARP, I mean he had an AR-15, he had a, a assault rifle with the drum on it, black gun, threw it out the window. This is all allegedly, threw it out the window, jumped out the window and he, Injured his legs. As he injured his legs, he was hurt as he was running. He jumped out the window and made it out. He was running. Now he's running. He left the gun on the ground. He's running. They end up apprehending him and catching him. But I ain't glorifying it or nothing. That was a hell of a plan. Like, he put it together. He went through. He did his thing. I hope he got the freedom and got to see his girl or, or something. Like, whatever he did it for, was it worth it? In his head, maybe, yeah. But in my head, nah. nah. That 13 years plus that gun plus that escape plus that... 25, 29, you just, you just did that for nothing, bro. You should have just chilled out. I know you ain't about to plead insanity again because they ain't about to let you play mental again, bro. You just real out went to the mental hospital and broke out of here, bro. There's no judge in America about to think you retarded, bro. They actually don't think you smart. <laughs> you went on a run, dropped the video, broke out of jail, and you jumped out of the third floor window. You damn near Jay's Bond, sir. You, you around here moving better than these highly trained officers. The let you put you on the Navy sales. You out here moving like a Navy sale, ain't you? And that breaking news from the Virginia Department of Corrections. A state prisoner who escaped custody at an Henrico County hospital more than two months ago has been captured. I'm Cheryl Miller. I'm Julie Bragg. Thank you for joining us here at 4. CBS 6's Bill Fitzgerald joins us now with these breaking details. Bill? Julie, according to the DOC, Nassim Rulak was taken into custody about nine this morning by U.S. Marshals and members of the Fairfax Police Department. Investigators are not yet saying exactly where or how, but Fairfax is pretty close to Rulak's hometown of Woodbridge. The 21-year-old convicted felon had been on the run since August 12th when he got away from St. Mary's Hospital in the West End. A DOC investigation later found the two corrections officers in charge of guarding the Greensville inmate admitted to being asleep at the time Rulak escaped. Investigators also found that Rulak had initially been wearing metal cuffs on his legs at the hospital, but those leg restraints were changed to flexible nylon cuffs so he could undergo an MRI. Once that was done, those metal cuffs should have been put back on his legs, but that never happened. Recently, authorities announced the possibility of a $20,000 reward for information leading to Rulak's arrest. There is no word yet if any tips related to that reward helped the marshals and police find him. 
So I gotta give Virginia some props. I ain't know y'all had one of them Virginia, cause that is crazy. But nah, they caught him. I knew they was gonna caught him though, y'all. I was 100% sure they was gonna catch him. If he thought he wasn't gonna get caught, it's crazy. Like, that's what I wanna know. Like, as he putting this plan together, he's still in his bunkie, like, cool, he got out, he escaped. Like, now what? You just about to play VA too? You go to, like, you real loud wanted an extra two months in Virginia for 20 years? Like, you got 20 years for an extra two months outside? Who thought that? Up? Like, who did the math? Like, the math ain't mathing to me. Like, I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know what was going on. But, and you made it so hot. Like, I know ain't nobody about to go to that mental hospital and hop out of another window or get away from that junk. That junk, Alcatraz, man. They probably got fence around that junk because of you. They made their own law. They probably can't need transport future deals without seven security now. Like, you just made Virginia ain't going for that again. And one thing I can tell you about Virginia, you don't play in Virginia. Oh, AIP, escape fugitive. Oh, you think Virginia? Oh, oh. Oh, one thing I know is don't play with Virginia. I respect Virginia. The police scared of the Virginia police. I don't even go to Virginia. I don't even be in Virginia. They be like, hey, let's go to Texas. Let's go to the mall. Order that. I rather order it. I ain't even going to the mall. I ain't going to Virginia for nothing. I don't be in Virginia. I respect the state of Virginia. They said you. It take you five minutes to get to Virginia and five years to get home. Ask them, y'all. That's the same. I swear. They knock you up for a nickel bag in the park. So he did all this great James Bond. He got a man though, he got a man, his man was hitting me like, I don't know, they was tagging me under some post, like some incriminating post. He ended up getting locked up as a police news report and they end up tagging me in a police news report. I'm gonna try to find a news report and play it, play it in this video for y'all and let y'all get an update and know like what really was going on like in the further detail because I don't really know, I just catch what I catch, but this was crazy. He escaped jail, went on a run, Almost escaped again for a second time. If he'd have got away the second time, he'd have been super duper goaded. Like, if he'd have been still on the run, dropped the on the run part two, oh man, he'd have been the goat. It's only two people that did it, y'all. Don't live up to this life. I don't want y'all to take this and think this is glorified. Take K, straight drop, and him. And you see where they all at? They all ended up with jail. Like, don't glorify the street things. Don't glorify the streets, y'all. Nothing. I'm gonna call him to go hard, but it was a crash dummy. Definitely a crash dummy move. That's why I got out of the streets though, y'all. It's just guys like this that be allegedly in the streets doing things like this. I will say free him, y'all, but y'all know his ain't coming home. So, I don't mean no offense to all the victims or whatever it is, whatever, how you peace make it make peace. I'm sorry for his little crazy. But I'm here to tell y'all is, nah, Virginia, y'all had y'all a little savage, but we ain't even about to incite that, man. I'm just going to be me. He's going to be watching a little TV and I'm going to be like, hey, y'all, what's up, y'all? This ain't glitching. This Bob or something TV. I ain't going to no jail. Bob or something.